point, I deal with Corinthians, um, 1 Corinthians especially. A lot of that, other than 1 Corinthians 13, uh, a lot of that is discomforting to me. It's sort of like the antithesis to, to, uh, <laughs> to what John is for Caroline Lewis. You know, Corinthians is, is this book where it's written by a pastor who was angry at the people, and it shows, and they were not altogether supportive of him, and it shows. And later on in 2 Corinthians, and then we have bits and pieces of at least a third, if not a fourth, uh, there are apologies from Paul, and apparently there have been from them. Uh, that, to me, was, is a text that sometimes is difficult because I've lived in the ministry, and it's so real. <laughs> you know, uh, it's easier to read some of the really soft... It's easy to read Philippians. Uh, it's easy to read Philippians where Paul was madly in love with that congregation and would have thought that they all, basically, if they had taken off their shirts, they had wings. You know, they were... But not so with Corinth. Those were earthy people. Those were um, sometimes people who were uh, morally bankrupt. They were ornery. They were split in the church. They were doing all manners of crazy stuff and saying, doesn't matter, we're church people, we'll do it anyway. They were confusing the Greek culture of that day and age with this new Christian movement. They were driving Paul crazy, and he had to figure out, how do I deal with a church utterly human and not always pleasant or positive? And, and sometimes I, I read that, and it's just so real. It resonates so much with what I've gone through at some moments in some places, and with what I have put good church folks through in other moments and other places.